Let's compare osteoarthritis or OA versus rheumatoid arthritis or RA. Before we dive in, let's look at what arthritis itself is. Arthritis is defined as a condition of the joints. This can cause inflammation, pain, and impaired mobility. Let's talk about osteoarthritis versus rheumatoid arthritis. OA is a non-inflammatory degenerative joint disorder, while RA is chronic and inflammatory. OA is caused by the breakdown of articular cartilage between the joints. Where RA, again, we have that inflammation which attacks the synovial membrane and destroys connective tissue. Osteoarthritis is not an immune disease and it only focuses on the joints, meaning tests will produce a negative rheumatoid factor. Rheumatoid arthritis, on the other hand, is an autoimmune disease and will produce a positive result for rheumatoid factor. The best way to really explain the patho is that OA is caused by wear and tear. This is specific to the joints only. Where RA is a systemic issue, meaning it affects the joints and also other organ systems. Now let's dive into the signs and symptoms of each condition. First, we'll look at the onset. Osteoarthritis' onset is gradual and slow, often taking years to develop. You can remember this by the memory trick, OA thinks slow onset. But for rheumatoid arthritis, the onset is more rapid, usually occurring over weeks to even months. You can remember this by the memory trick, RA think rapid onset. Now for pain and stiffness. This is a really important one to remember. Osteoarthritis is asymmetrical pain, meaning it will affect one joint on one side of the body. Remember, it's wear and tear. Every joint ages at a different pace. Where in rheumatoid arthritis, we will see symmetrical joint involvement, meaning both joints on both sides will be affected. Continuing on with pain and stiffness, in OA, there is no swelling, and again, it's a non-inflammatory condition. This disorder involves loss of cartilage. But RA involves swelling because remember, it's an inflammatory condition. In OA, patients often experience stiffness after weight-bearing exercises. This lasts less than 30 minutes, where patients with RA experience stiffness in the morning, which often lasts longer than an hour. You can remember OA with the L's of osteoarthritis. Localized, lack of swelling, load-bearing stiffness, and less than 30 minutes. Where you can remember the S's of rheumatoid arthritis with the memory trick, symmetrical joints, swelling because it's an inflammatory condition, stiffness in the morning, and 60 minutes or more. Okay, now let's talk about location or where these types of arthritis appear. OA is most often seen in the weight-bearing joints, like the spine, the hips, and the knees. Think, these joints endure the most wear and tear in our bodies. Where RA can affect any joint, but it's most common in the smaller joints, such as those hands and feet. Let's talk about the alterations in the hands. OA is known for bony enlargements, meaning small joints just appear larger but RA is known for deformity of the fingers, where the joints actually become deformed and may appear curved. It's important to know that OA has two types of alterations in the hands called the nodes. The distal bony enlargement or enlargements towards the tip of the fingers are called Heberden's nodes, while the proximal enlargements of osteoarthritis in the hands, meaning closer to the palms, are called Bochard's nodes. So again, you need to know the names of the ones that are distal versus the ones that are proximal. Let's talk about the risk factors for each condition. First, let's look at the risk factors for OA. The first one is obesity. Just think about it. The more weight the patient has on their body, the more pressure it puts on the joints. Another risk factor is older age, occupational risks like heavy lifting or prolonged pressure on the joints, 
The more wear and tear on the joint from any of these factors will cause the cartilage to thin more quickly. And another risk factor is genetics. Now let's look at the risk factors for RA. Risk factors for RA include environmental factors such as pollution, which enters the system and causes inflammation, bacterial or viral illnesses and infection, and cigarette smoking. Now, what do all of these have in common? They all can cause an inflammatory response and destruction of the synovial layer. This is the protective joint fluid. A family history of RA is also a risk factor. Let's look at the treatment options for OA versus RA. The first one is weight loss if needed. Decreased weight means decreased pressure on the joints. They also can use orthotic devices such as bracing and splinting, and mobility devices like canes or walkers. Aerobic exercises and strength training can be used. These have been shown to slow disease progression. Intraarticular injections of steroids or even a gel-like substance into the joint can reduce pain and irritation. Common surgery is joint replacement. This is called an arthroplasty. Arthro means joints and plasty means reconstruction or replacement. So we are reconstructing or replacing the joint. Now let's look at treatment for RA. When it comes to rheumatoid arthritis, surgery is a main treatment for relief. A synovectomy may be performed. This is removal of the synovium. If we break apart the word, synov means synovium and ectomy means removal of. So this is removal of the synovium. The goal of this is to reduce inflammation and stop progression. Patients may also qualify for a joint replacement or an arthroplasty or joint fusion, also called an atherodesis. Heat and cold therapy are helpful for RA patients. Cold therapy is best for pain and inflammation, while heat is best for stiffness. And finally, let's look at the commonly used medications for each type of arthritis. Patients with both OA and RA will benefit from non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Examples include ibuprofen, Advil, and naproxen, brand name Aleve. These relieve pain and inflammation. OA and RA are both treated with corticosteroids. OA patients may benefit from intra-articular injection of steroids for rapid relief of pain, while RA patients are often on oral steroids for long-term management. Other drugs for OA include glucosamine and chondroitin. These are supplements which can improve joint health while RA patients will benefit from disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs or DMARDs. These are used for long-term management. Let's look at the most commonly tested on regarding OA versus RA. OA is a degenerative joint disorder caused by the breakdown of articular cartilage between the joints from wear and tear where RA is a chronic inflammatory type of arthritis classified as an autoimmune disease. Again, the onset of OA is slow and the onset of RA is rapid. Pain will be seen asymmetrically in OA affecting one joint, where RA, the joints are affected symmetrically. Patients with OA will typically have stiffness after activity where those with RA will see in stiffness in the morning lasting greater than an hour. The joints affected in OA are those weight-bearing joints like the knees, hips, and spine, where in RA, small joints of the hands and feet are affected, but again, it also affects other systems of the body as well. That's all for OA versus RA.